Okay, the Super Cop Lever Espresso Machine mounted to the wall. This is uh, uh, just a nice little work of art. As you can see, it's kind of in the uh, the corner of our dining room. Uh, and right now the machine is kind of just in the condition we'll leave it when we're not using it. That is a uh, lever down. You can also leave it with the lever up if you like. Uh, turn this to the side. This is locked in right now because the, uh, the piston plunger is actually in the water reservoir just a little bit. How do we get it out? You take the lever and cock it up to the top position and push back. And that pulls the piston out. There's a little hydraulic piston in the back of this that does it. So there's the reservoir. There's the uh, porta filter, and uh, the process of making a shot with it. I like to preheat stuff. It's really important. So I want to get this hot, and I want to get the water reservoir hot. So what I do is I take water just off the kettle, pour it into the porta filter. It's also going into the water reservoir, like that. Give it a little dry and now this is uh, ready to go so the next stage is grinding coffee I've already pre-measured out 18.5 grams this is the Lagom mini uh, slow grinder for uh, espresso but it's an amazing grinder for espresso it's also very quiet you can see so we'll grind that out. This is still preheating right here. This is nice and toasty. <laughs> I did say it was a slow grinder. That's also an excellent grinder for espresso. All right, with this done, we dose out our coffee, make sure as much of it goes into the basket as possible. And I like to apply the uh, WT movement, especially when I'm dosing out of that small container. Just to settle the grounds, get them nice and even. And then the next thing I do is one single knockdown and then the tamp. Okay, the bed of coffee is prepared. Take the water reservoir, which is now nicely heated, seat it on top. Start pouring your water into the reservoir right away. I do like just dumping out that initial amount and then I'm filling it up to the second line, which you can see on the side of the reservoir, right there. Lock it into the machine. And establishing the first plunger pull. All this is doing the first plunger pull is uh, just moving the piston into place. It's not actually brewing the shot at this point or really it's just saturating the bed of coffee. The um, next stage though, is where we get up to about 1.5 bar. This will be my second pull. And what this is doing is it's establishing the pressure in the group head. Now this third pull, after a little bit of pre-infusion time, this is me controlling the pre-infusion of the, uh, the bed of coffee. I'm gonna pull and by the end of this shot, we're going to be establishing some coffee coming out. There you go. There's the espresso developing up quick. Fifth pull. Look at that nice straight shot there. All right. Last pull. This is the one where I'm slowing things down, slowing the pressure down, bringing the pressure down, finishing the shot. And there we go. The shot is finished. Look at that. Right there. Beautiful espresso. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, how do we get this out? It's locked in. Piston is in there. That's where we do this little caulking trick again. 
And you can see the pistons rising up in there. And there, the seal's broken. You can remove it. Remove the reservoir. There's your spent puck. Reservoir is nice and clean and empty. And you have a nice finished shot of espresso. That's the process.